let's solve some questions based upon number representations from previous get papers so wh what we will do we will see the theory type questions in first attempt and then we will solve the numerical type questions uh, consider n bit including sine bit two's complement representation uh, of integer number the range of integer values n that can be represented is so see what they are saying it's an n bit number and within that n bit the sine bit is also included as we do usually and they are asking us the range now if you refer to the chart or the table that we have drawn the range will be given by minus 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 2 plus 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 so if it's an 8 bit number for example in 2's complement the range will be minus 128 to plus 127 sorry here this minus 1 uh, is not needed it will be minus 128 to plus 127 so range will be minus 2 to the power n minus 1 to 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 and then apart from this question there is one question in gate 2013 which says the smallest number that can be represented by an n bit two's complement form sorry it has to be 8 bit the smallest number that can be represented by an 8 bit number in two's complement form is now we know in 8 bit two's complement form the range will be minus 128 to plus 127 and that is why the smallest number that can be represented will be minus 128 so here option b will be the correct answer minus 128 now see in gate 19 in in in, in earlier years say in in 98 and and before that or i think up to 2003 uh, gate was a theoretical paper okay so there were subjective questions like the range was given and blanks were there now you need you needed to write the range in the paper so right now in current format you won't be getting questions like this you'll be getting questions like this okay or even if they ask you the range multiple ranges will be given and you will be selecting one range from the option so in short it is um, it is uh, objective right now earlier it was subjective okay so for gate 2013 the answer will be minus 128 and finally one question from gate 1999 which says zero has two representations in and the options are sine magnitude one's complement two's complement and none of the above now we have seen earlier that zero has two representations in sine magnitude as well as in one's complement so both the answers are correct none of the above is wrong and two's complement is absolutely wrong because two's complement has got unique representation for zero now again if this question arises in the current format then it's a problem because in mcq only one can be the correct answer and here we know both a and b are the correct answer but it should not be happening in the correct for uh, in the current format at that time because it was subjective you were expected to write both option a as well as b in the answer and maybe with a one short line description so anyways you need not be worried right now you should keep only one thing in mind that zero has got two representations in sine magnitude as well as one's complement and as far as this question is concerned both the options are correct and both of them need to be marked uh, in next video we will be solving numerical type questions uh, based upon number representation